good morning everyone welcome to another video from Hacksux and in today's video we are going to look into our Wi-Fi pen testing CDs where we would <coughs> see how we can find out hidden SSIDs and Mac changers and these kind of important things which you would know which you would need to know in order to actually hack into different Wi-Fi encryptions and networks so okay so the first thing which I did right here was air mon ng air mon ng ylan oh sorry start ylan 0 so this is what we have seen in the previous video so once you have started ylan 0 what you will see here is wlan 0 mon so this monitor interface is on and now we are going to delve into how we are going to find out hidden ssids or hidden essids in the network now what is an ESSID? An SSID is a service station ID. SSID is a service station ID that tells you about the, uh, that uh, recognizes or uniquely defines the Wi-Fi network we are talking about here, right? So initially what we are going to do is, we are going to first look into all the available ESSIDs there in the network. So let's do air or oh, dump ng ylan0 mon. So this will tell me about all the different networks that's here and here we'll see that the wireless network ESSID is already given here. Now why is it given here? It is given here because when I sniff packets, when I sniff packets in the network, all the networks that's why shot, all the network packets that are being sent to the network by default has these ESSIDs. That is why when you are scanning it via a different phone or a different PC or a different network interface card, you would be able to see that all of these, all of these, uh, all of these destinations has particular frames which tells you about the ESSID of that particular network. Like for instance, if I type ylan dot bssid equal to equal to and I give the BSSID of this wireless network, right? So let's copy this and let's paste it here. So we are going to see that in a beacon frame and in the II2E wireless lags, we have tagged parameters where we see that the <coughs> wireless network is the name of this Wi Fi network. So this is why this uh, system is able to identify all the different networks here, right? But now what happens if I change this what happens if I put this as a hidden if I put this network BSS ID as hidden so if I do that to do that I'll have to first log into my router so as you see this is my router login page and I give the password and I log in so once I log in here I will go to the wireless tab and here enable SSID broadcast right here you can see there is enable SSID broadcast which I'm gonna uncheck and I'm gonna click on apply so once this SSID is dis disabled once this is disabled you would see that now if I go here and if I try to monitor I will not be able to see the ESSID that's linked to this network here you would see there is no place where wireless network exists but wireless networks exist here and how do I figure that out I figure that out because wireless network has a certain number of clients in it and those clients send you requests like let's continue this without saving and now if I give the same parameter here and if I find a beacon frame I would see that the tag SSID parameter here does not have a uh, name does not have a ESSID what was previously wireless network here is now a sequence of backslashes and zeros which has particularly no meaning so that is the reason why this computer this uh, network interface card cannot figure out that what is the name of this wireless network is but now how does it know how does it know what the name of this wireless network is it knows it because these clients when these clients connect to this network like for instance this is a client of a uh, wireless network right so if I want to monitor whatever this client is doing or whatever the packet this client is sending what I will simply do here is I will copy this and I would simply come here place this and I would try to see 
if there are any packets that's going here now as you see if i go to uh, uh, network acknowledgement details i would see that the receiver address can be seen that's a xiaomi phone the frame control and here it will be sending a decent number of probe requests now if you look into the probe requests here i would be able to see that the probe request that my client is sending to this bss id that is this wireless network ap is that of is had the has the tag wireless network and that is why i am able to know the name of this hidden ssid even if the even if i uh, it, uh, the ssid broadcast is set to zero now what happens like what happens for instance i do not have a client in the network or the client that i have in the network is not connected right now like for instance if i open this up i would see that initially i cannot see anything that is because the client here is already connected to the network and that is why it is not sending me this again, again and the probe is not going to tell me the wireless network id what i can do is i can use a very powerful tool in my airplane engine now what airplane does is it sends the auth requests to this particular access point that is the access point of our wi-fi router wi-fi router right here this one the destination right so it's sending it to that access point and it's send it sending a dauth request which is given by this and five dauth requests i'm saying saying sending it to this to make sure that all the clients that there in the network are uh thrown out of it right so here i am waiting for a beacon frame on channel 7 and i am going to send the wifi request now you no notice one thing that in this case the wpa is in channel 11 right so what we have to do here is first is set the channel to 11 here and now once we set the channel to 11 now we will able to send this channel sending dauth broadcast request and as you see once they are dauth and they try dauth uh, and once they are trying to reauthenticate in the network i'll again get the wireless network tab and thus even if there is someone who is not connected to the network at that time I can always look into its um, hosts which are connected to it throw them out and once they probe I will be able to know the name of the hidden wifi parameter so this is the way even if I have set this uh, wifi access parameter to no one I have not sent enable the broadcast I will still be able to find out the ssid of the hidden network right and finally connect to it so That's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to look into how we will be beating MAC filters and MAC uh, locks, which are there in most systems in today's world. Of course, you can monitor the entire thing with Wireshark, and as you see, everything that I have monitored here can be used with a different number of probe requests and a different number of uh, addresses and filters to find out what exactly you want. If you search in here, you would find there is something known as a probe request. and in the probe request the entire wifi hotspot name will be given there because the response is being sent from the client to the server and not the other way around i would recommend you reading a little about wifi hacking to better understand these processes but stay tuned i am sure that as we go through the tutorials look into the other ways of using airplay air crack and all those kind of tools we will be able to you will be able to further grasp and understand how wifi hacking is actually carried out That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.